Hey guys, David here from techop.io, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set a static IP address in Ubuntu server. Now, a server should almost always have a static IP address, which means that its IP address doesn't change. If you didn't specify a static IP address during installation, you can set one afterwards using this guide. I'm going to be using Ubuntu Server 24.04 LTS here, but any recent version of Ubuntu Server will be similar, if not the same. So to get started, we're going to need to know some information about our network. So with our Ethernet cable plugged in, I can run IP space ADDR here and hit enter. And this will show us some information about the current network we're connected to. Now, the interface I'm interested in here is named ENS33 for me. This is the Ethernet port on my server. Yours may or may not be named the same, but you'll want to take note of the name, so ENS33 in my case. And the next thing I want to take note of is the IP address, which we were automatically assigned from our DHCP server. In my case, this is 192.168.38.129 with a subnet of slash 24. A subnet of slash 24 means that on this network, the last octet or the last digits of the IP address may change. So the devices on this network may have an IP address of 192.168.38.1, to 192.168.38.254. Now we can either assign the IP address that we were given as our static IP address, or we can assign a different IP address in this range. The next thing we'll need to know is the IP address of the default gateway or the router on our network. To get this, I'll type IP space route and hit enter. And I wanna take note of the line that says default via, and then the IP address after via, which in my case is 192.168.38.2. Now this is my default gateway IP, another common number at the end might be 1, but in my case it's 2. You want to take note of this IP address as well, so in my case 192.168.38.2. The next thing we'll want to do is visit the slash etc slash netplan directory, since on Ubuntu server that's where the network configuration is stored. So to do this I'll type cd space slash etc slash netplan, and I'll hit enter. And I want to see what files are in here, so I'll type ls, and I'll hit enter. And we can see that the configuration file for the network devices in my case is named 50-cloud-init.yaml. Now I'm going to want to edit this file with a text editor as root, so I'll type sudo space nano space 50-cloud-init.yaml. Now I'm choosing to use nano as my text editor here, but you can use vi as well, so I'll hit enter and it'll ask me for my password. And now we can see that my Ethernet device ENS33 is already configured with DHCP. So to change this to a static IP address, I'll want to go down here to DHCP4 under my interface and change this to false. And then right under DHCP4, I'll add addresses, colon, and I'll hit enter. And two spaces in under addresses, or tab, I'll type dash space, and then the IP address that I want to assign. So in my case, that's 192.168.38. And I'm going to change the last digit just for the sake of this video, so I'm going to assign .120. But I want to assign the same subnet as the IP address I was assigned earlier, which in my case was slash 24. I'll go down a line, and now we need to tell it where our default router or our default gateway is. So using the gateway IP that we learned earlier, I'll add a routes line. And I'll go down and two spaces in or tab under, I'll do dash, space, and then I'll type two colon space default. I'll go down a line and right under the two, I'll type via colon space. And then the IP address of my default gateway, which we noted earlier, which in my case was 192.168.38.2. As a side note, on older versions of Ubuntu, this routes parameter may be replaced with a gateway 4 parameter instead, where you just specify the IP address alone. But that method's going to be deprecated soon, so if you're on a newer version, like I am here, you're going to want to use the routes key. And finally, you'll want to specify a DNS server, so the server can connect to other domains. So to do this, I'll add a new parameter, name servers here. And then right underneath, two spaces in or tab, I'll do addresses. And under addresses, again, two spaces in or tab, I'll type dash space and then the IP address of the DNS server I want to use. So some common DNS servers are Google DNS at 8.8.8.8 or Cloudflare DNS at 1.1.1.1. I'm going to use 1.1.1.1 here. 
and I'll specify 1.0.0.1 as a backup. Now, if you have a more advanced network, you may have an internal DNS server that you'll want to put the IP address of here, but if you're not sure, going with one of these is normally a safe option. And finally, as a side note, if you use a custom DNS domain on your network, you can add it with the search parameter, like so. So I'll just add search and then dash space and then the name of my DNS domain. However, again, if you're not sure about this, you can leave this out. So I'm actually just going to leave this out for the purpose of this video. So I'm done now to exit and save. I'll type control X, type Y for yes and hit enter. And now we need to actually apply the new configuration. So to do that, I'll type sudo space net plan space apply. And I'll hit enter. Give it a second. And to see if our new IP address was applied, I'll type IP space ADDR again. And I'll hit enter. And we can see that the IP address I applied of 192.168.38.120 was successfully applied. And just to make sure our gateway to the internet and our DNS name servers are working, I'll run a sudo space apt space update. And as long as we get hits and everything fetches successfully, we know that we fully configured our static IP correctly and we have outgoing internet access. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching and I hope this helped. For more upcoming videos on Ubuntu Server, don't forget to subscribe and check out my website at www.techop.io for more.